I want to live a life that stands up to the scrutiny of transparency that if it ever got to the point that people could, if they read every email, if they heard every conversation, if they heard what I said when I was in a room all by myself, or even hear my thoughts, that I would be, I wouldn't be ashamed. I would be proud. Leading by example doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do all the same things you're asking your team to do, but it does mean that you have to be willing to do whatever it takes, like whatever needs to be done, you have to be willing to do. If it's taking out the trash, it's taking out the trash. If it's making cold calls, it's making cold calls. If it is, if it is literally modeling the act behavior, that is it. But it's it is it is more than that. It's modeling the attitude, is modeling the character, um, and part of that sure as heck means if someone needs to go out and generate a sale, you will pick up the phone and generate a sale. If someone needs to go out and recruit, you'll freaking pick up the phone and you'll go recruit somebody. If it means that there's a difficult conversation that needs to be had, you'll have the difficult conversation because you're willing to do whatever behavior is required to help the team succeed. And I will say this, a healthy organizational culture, a healthy organizational culture starts with the example set by a unified leadership team. One of the things we've started to look at is to go, not just when, when do we have one, one self-centered leader is pretty easy to identify, but a group of self-centered leaders is extremely dangerous to the ability of the entire organization to succeed. And uh, the way that we can tell is basically, is the team co is the leadership team cohesive or not? Because influential leaders know that the effectiveness of any one leader is limited by the cohesiveness of the entire leadership team. Part of leading by example is protecting the other leaders. If, if you don't do that, you've got serious problems. Another way of saying this is that tiny fractures in the leadership team manifest as giant, gaping, cavernous canyons throughout the organization. It seems small to you. I have a discrepancy with her or with him, or we're not on the same page about this. Those tiny cracks though, become giant canyons uh, through the rest of the organization, which again is why this is so dangerous. It doesn't mean you're gonna agree automatically on all of these things, but what it does mean for the leadership team, you must discuss issues privately so that you can display consensus publicly. You have to discuss issues privately. I'm not saying y'all have to agree on everything right away. It's just that if there's if there is stuff that needs to be hashed out, and this does happen, healthy leadership teams have intense discussions, but they have intense discussions behind the scenes. And it's like, what we hash out here, we hash out. The moment we close that door and we walk out, we are one. We are on the same page. And if you attack another leader, you're attacking my brother. You're attacking my sister. You're like, it's like you're attacking my mom. Because if, if people sense disconnectedness between leaders, they distrust the entire organization. Yeah, Sharon puts in the chat. It's just like you and your spouse, it's the exact same thing. You have to have a unified front um, otherwise the whole, the whole, the whole thing breaks down. True leaders, true leaders build up other leaders. True influential leaders defend other leaders. And the default is to giving other leaders the benefit of the doubt. So even if you hear of something that totally seems like, well, that was dumb, uh, you know, or that was a mistake or that's stupid you at least have to hold up a backstop of defending 
the rest of the leadership team and then go take it up with them. But you can never let the rest of the organization feel like you're not on the same page because you're it, it, it erodes the fabric of the entire culture. If trust breaks down, the entire organization breaks down. Now here's what's tricky about the organizational level. Unity of a team can only exist if there is humility among the individual leaders. Unity as a team can only exist if there is humility among the individual leaders. And one of the greatest uh, 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 expressions of leadership maturity is humility. Like humility is a sign that you know that somebody has risen to a level of leadership to where they're not trying to celebrate their own personal accomplishments. They're not trying to be right. They're not trying to be recognized. They're not trying to complain. They're not trying to, all they're doing is serving other people. All they're doing is solving problems. All they're doing is trying to make other people feel better about themselves. All they're doing is trying to educate and teach. Like they have given up the self-centered desire and the self-centered instinct to elevate themselves and they've traded that in for a, a deeper desire to elevate other people.